Hi everyone. So uh, I kind of got strong-armed into uh, having a talk here by Eric because he needed to fill the schedule and I felt like I don't have that much experience so uh, I don't know what I could teach anyone. So I thought I was going to talk about something uh, more about people's reactions to game and variety and innovation in, in games and indie games especially. Um, because this is kind of similar to the last talk, but I just think that people are way too negative about what others create, and we should embrace whatever variety we can find in games and not try and bend people into making the kinds of games we want them to make, or rather, they should explore every possible way to make a game, and that might actually get applied to something you like later on, because that game's creator was inspired but what he find, but by something he found in a different game entirely. So uh, I had this whole rant planned out, but I realized it was kind of... I didn't like the fact that I was almost about to criticize some specific people who made some comments I don't agree with, but uh, it felt kind of stupid of me. So I'd rather just say that we should enjoy whatever variety we can find and always embrace something that's different from what we enjoy and hope that more people find ways to experiment with games. That's really all I had to say. <laughs> say it's relatively important. I mean... On a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is like critical importance and 1 is absolutely irrelevant. I mean, it's definitely changed my life. <laughs> one year back, I didn't know where I was or who number. I was. Number. Oh, number. Okay. <laughs> now, it's 8. I'd say okay. wow. one year ago, <laughs> it'd be 2. <laughs> I'm glad you hopefully enjoyed it. <laughs> I got, I've gotten six beers so far, and I might get more from a friend. <laughs> Thank you.